All right, it is February 18th, and we've had a rough month. A lot of snow, very cold nights. Uh, today's the first day that things are above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna go out, I got some fondant, I'm gonna go check the hives. Today's the day I'm gonna see if anybody's alive in there, and if they are alive, they're gonna get some new food. So let's go have a look. I'd really like to see some living bees today. I see a bee! I see a bee! Hive, this is the old hive right, which is now on the left. With the 2014 queen, and it is alive. This is the old hive left, which is now on the right, which was turned into a nuke. Don't know about that. And Flow Hive. Definitely alive. So exciting. All right. Let's go have a look. All right, I just wanna say also that uh, I'm fully prepared to find a dead hive here. We're gonna find out together. We have had some really, really cold nights this winter. And uh, you know, I did everything I could, and uh, I'm gonna open up and see if what I did was, was good, or if the bees made it, or I don't know. So let's have a look first at the nuke, because I'm not sure about that one. This was the weak hive that was on the old hive left up at my neighbor bees that we converted to a nuke to get through the winter. So this was already a weak hive going into the, into the winter. There's still fondant in here. I don't see any bees or hear any bees. Well, the nuke did not make it. You know what I do see here? is I see mouse droppings. Yeah, the mice got in. That's a mouse nest inside the hive. Mouse poo. There's a mouse. Well, I am seeing bees inside the cells. I think is a good indication. Well, no, there's a lot of food in here. That is a very heavy frame. But there are bees all the way inside the cells. Completely covered in there, so there was a cluster in here. A lot of food in there. There's a lot of honey in here. And this was already a weak hive. There wasn't a lot of bees in there to begin with. So I'm thinking that the cold probably got them before the mouse came in. Hey mouse, two mice, get. All right, I know there are living bees in this hive. I just hope that the mice didn't get in there too. Feels dry in here. Definitely live bees and they've got fondant still. I'm gonna put a little more in there. Let's have a 
look at the flow hive. Plenty of fondant. I, uh, I see or hear no signs of life. So this is the flow hive. And I'm seeing what looks like a tiny little cluster right there. Like almost nothing. And no other bees at all. Like that cluster is like a, the size of like a, an apple, maybe. This thing was jam packed to bees in the fall. That looks like the whole cluster right there. There's still food here. There's plenty of food. These are these are all full of honey here. This is all honey. This is super heavy. Wow, these are untouched. Look at this. This probably weighs about seven or eight pounds. It's completely full, untouched. Good grief. There's two more here, completely packed. That is all honey. Where did the bees go? Seriously. All right. All right, so little old hive right, the one that everyone in the beginning, we called the weak hive when it was up over the hill. The initial response was to pinch the queen and combine the hives to make one hive. And after some feeding, it turned out to be the stronger hive of the two. We got it up from about three frames of, of, uh, of stores to 20 frames in there. The flow hive, which was the booming hive, the one that had, I mean, it was jam packed. I mean, look at this footage. It was completely jammed with bees in the fall. I was worried they were not going to have enough food, uh, but they, they didn't even hardly touch the food that's in there. So Flow Hive is packed with honey, and the nuke was a weak hive. We, we knew that one was weak, and it was going into the winter weak, and it, uh, it was weak. What I do know is they were all alive right around the first of the year. So about a month and a half ago, all the hives were alive. I came out here around December 30th and they were all alive. And since then we've had some brutally cold nights and uh, quite a bit of snow in the last month, but they've been dry, at least they were dry, but it was a very small population. So they probably didn't have much 
to keep warm inside that that box and they died and it looks like the uh, the mice moved in there were two mice in there this hive right here is very busy today they're all cleansing they're all coming out and pooping all over the place we have a very active middle hive here which was again the old hive right 2014 queen strong so while it is definitely sad to lose a couple of hives I am not deterred I am excited that one hive is alive and looks like it will probably make it through the winter uh, we're we're gonna get new bees we're gonna do this again next summer and we're gonna have quite a head start because we've got a lot of frames already pulled. We got a lot of honey in there. Uh, we've got a lot of hardware, woodenware, and uh, we should start off strong in the spring with some new bees. Probably nukes this year, and I'm already sourcing some local northern queens. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a better year next winter, but. This isn't the end. It's sad, but it's not over. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.